but the government intention is to repress any form of resistance. So are you trying to say, Ashreen, that this piece of legislation is more draconian than the Prevention of Terrorism Act? Exactly, yeah. So this is not a possible replacement at all? Not at all, because say for one example, they brought in de-radicalization bill some time ago, a year ago. We went to Supreme Court, it's being argued in Supreme Court still. Right? The, whatever the things that they want to have in de-radicalization, de they have incorporated into ATA. In the past, Sri Lankan government, in addition to uh, PTA, they also used Section 3 of the CCPR, which is localized, the governance on civil and political rights, that is being incorporated again in ATA. Right? And government loves this rehabilitation idea because earlier when PTA was in, in, in um, you know, when they were using PTA, um, under the emergency they were able to rehabilitate uh, supposedly, you know, LTT members and LTT associates, right? Uh, in the post-war context. Then in the post-Easter context, they wanted to rehabilitate 300 odd Muslims who have been taken under PTA, right? Uh, and that was not successful. Then they brought in de-radicalization bill and that is now pending in the Supreme Court. Then they brought in uh, rehabilitation bureau bill which Supreme Court struck many of the provisions because it didn't uh, comply with the Constitution and now they have put all of those lumped up things into ATA where they want to collectively punish people even for thought process. So